We. You know what? I hadn't planted anything in here. I don't know if it's necessary, but. Do it. Alright. I have now destroyed ammo, food, helicopter, many things. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Now you've made me taste bitter defeat. I hate to disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. Here it is. The famous scene. Oh boy. Will he do it? Ow. Come on. You fool. I don't have a gun out. Look ah. here. I don't have a gun out. You won't get away from me. Right, I almost forgot. I like to call people during boss battles because we get some information. Snake, the only way to proceed is to fight. You have to defeat Ocelot. You can't jump over that crevice, and hand-to-hand -hand combat is out of the question. You'll have to shoot it out with him. Take cover behind something and wait for an opening, then attack him in first-person view. It looks like there's a hornet's nest up there. If it falls down, you'll be attacked by the hornets inside. If you get attacked by hornets, swing your survival knife around or use a smoke grenade to drive them off. Wearing light colored clothing can also be effective. That guy is using a single action army. It's a six shot 45 caliber revolver. The only drawback is that because it's a revolver, it's a pain in the ass to reload. Ocelot will be open to attack while he's reloading. Use that window to unload on him. Ocelot is a force to be reckoned with. Don't even think about running away. The only way to proceed with the mission is to defeat him. They say that Ocelot can hit targets hiding behind obstacles by using ricochet shots. Rocks and trees won't protect you. If you stay too long in the same spot, you'll only be making yourself an easy target. Don't stand still. Keep moving. Important information. Thank you. Now, uh, this fight, silencers are not a good idea because, of course, it's going to be loud anyways. 
He loves it. Fun fact, he will slowly get faster at doing that as the fight goes on. Ow. Alright, uh... Couldn't I just... Not bad, eh? I'm not allowed to. Ow. Wait, did I just... What a fucking... There was a fucking coral snake there. One sec. Coral snake. Alright, and also, I need to cure the poison. Uh, that button... There we go. Did I miss? No, oh, I think I hit him. Son of a Fuck. Guys behind me took a few shots at me, but they all missed. Never felt the tension like this before. That's so different from simply changing the clip. How was he? Also, if you want to annoy him, there's a goat in the back. This reload time is exhilarating. If you shoot it. Oh, whoops. Right at the goat. his hat off. Yeah, you can shoot his hat off. It's quite funny. Oh, okay, he's dropping bees on me. As they mentioned earlier, if you wear white, they will not attack you as much. Now, the problem is, when I'm wearing this, I can't attack back. That's a King Cobra. Okay, uh, the bee should be gone by now. I just put Tiger Strike back on. Jesus. I want to throw a snake at him. I know I could just shoot him. I really want to throw snakes at him. Oh, he's reloading. Oh, I nailed him with it. How fast he is now. He's getting really fast now. Oh. 
Have you tried it? Yes! It's the heart of a duel. Alright. Hey, I was faster. I didn't shoot. Oh, wow. Not bad. Loading like this. All right, I have 12 shots left. You see my technique? It was perfect. That was pretty good. Got him. Damn it. He found us. Yes, spin the bees away. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I almost died during that fight. I took a lot of damage. I didn't play that very safely, but that's fine. Taking a lot of damage in this game can be worth it because you get more health over time. All right, now it is very dark. Luckily for us, I found the thermal goggles. That helps. Now, because we want some food, I'm going to eat some of my food and then we're going to catch some more. I don't want to eat the rations yet. Because they don't go bad. Let's eat this. I want some more. Okay, that was really nice, apparently. A crab. All right, now one cool thing, we should probably do a call, but one cool thing about this cave is if you spend long uh, long enough time in it, you will actually be able to see really well because your eyes will adjust. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Major. Snake. Are you all right? You're not hurt? No. That was a hell of a drop, but I'm fine. Looks like there's no way back up, though. I see. Well, anyway, it's good to hear you're not injured. Slipping and falling may not have been part of the plan, but getting into that cave was. Proceed further into the cave. The cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. Find a way out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. All right, but it might take me a while to get through this cave. Are you hurt? No. Is it the enemy? Did they set a trap for you? Not that either. Then what is it? It's dark in here. Dark? Yeah, there's no light anywhere. I should have brought a flashlight with me. So what you're saying is that it's going to take you a while because you don't have a flashlight? Right. Snake, if you don't have a flashlight, you should be looking for a substitute. I tell you, American soldiers these days rely too much on ready-made equipment. Here we go again. What was that? Nothing. American soldiers rely too much on ready-made equipment. And not only that, they 
can't seem to grasp that one piece of equipment can have multiple functions. Back when I was in the SAS, we never had that problem. We were trained to use every piece of equipment in as many ways as possible. If you don't have a flashlight, look for something else. You need to develop flexible, innovative thinking if you want to. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah, of course I am. First, take a look at what you're carrying with you now. Don't you have anything that can provide you with some light? Now we do. It's not the greatest idea, though. I see you've caught yourself a Kenyan mangrove crab. The Kenyan mangrove crab is a land-going crab. It lives in burrows dug near seashores and mangrove swamps. It's not poisonous, but it might hurt a little if it attacks you with its pinchers. Treat it with caution. Got it. So this thing must taste pretty good, huh? Why do you say must? It's a crab, isn't it? It is. And crabs are good to eat. What's so good about them? You don't like crab? Not at all. Why not? Why? How can you eat those things? They're all purple and yellow striped, and they stink like cat pee. What? But that's just my opinion. Don't listen to me. Let's see here. The guide says... No way. It says they're delicious. Well, if you want to eat one, then go right ahead, but count me out. I'll keep one for you. Again. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment, the first thing you do is drop it in your backpack, right? But you can't use your new goodies if they're just sitting in your backpack. To use a weapon or piece of equipment, first you have to take it out of your backpack and place it on your person. To take an item out of your backpack, use the backpack I, I, I know how to use the backpacks, again. To place a Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I know how to use a backpack. Sorry, Sigint, but... Oh, I should I should talk to Eva. Like, hey, I'm in the cave, it's dark as fuck. Snake, are you alright? Yeah, just barely. What the hell were all those hornets? Most likely that was the pain, one of the cobras. I figured as much. Are they tracking me? I don't know. The Cobras only take orders from the boss. Not even Volgan knows what they're really up to, so I don't know anything about them either. No kidding. I'll try and dig up as much as I can about them. You just focus on moving ahead. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie Swamp. And Snake, be careful. That cave is pitch dark inside. Good. I did remember to tell you then. You didn't. If it's completely dark and you need a light, try using a torch. I heard there's some emergency torches stored somewhere in that cave. Torches. Got it. So where are they? Huh? Where are the torches? How should I know? Go find them yourself. Okay, so. Let's think about what we have. For our weapons... None of these are really that useful for seeing. You know, we got something for hearing. However, in our ear here, well, we have a cigar. That can be used. However, the cigar has a problem. My health is now draining. Also, because we beat Ocelot uh, without killing him, well, without doing lethal damage, I get the animal's uniform. This uniform is pretty good. Pretty good. There it is. I wonder if I call if uh, he'll mention it. Keep in mind that every. Okay. When you're using the yeah, okay, that's when you fire. Yeah, I, I know. It's... The Mark Twenty Two is yes, I know. Painting your okay. Pattern clothes. Okay, he's he doesn't have anything to say about this. Well, uh, I don't think there's any enemies in here, but just in case, I should probably be somewhat stealthy. So if we put on. Black clothing. I should be fairly impossible to spot in this darkness. Now, 
My other option is, of course, the thermal goggles. They won't let me see walls. They will let me see things. Now, as we can see, there seems to be two ways to go. Do we have a map? We do have a map. Good. Well, I'm going to be taking this path. And here we have some water. Frogs. Now, funnily enough, you can see really well underwater. Now, there's a hole there, and I will be going through that, but I want to just go straight for a bit. I don't remember if uh, this is something I can climb. I can. Ah, right. Battery. And we can see there's a higher platform that I cannot seem to reach. bullets at the bottom of this water. Anything else? No. Okay, so the hole was somewhere around here. There it is. Ooh, it's starting to get hard to breathe. All that's in here seems to be a ration. Okay, let's get some air then. And let's make our way out of this hole that I just swam into. few useful items over there. Take the cigar back out so I can see a little bit better. It's getting a little bit brighter now. Okay, we have a path there. We have a crawl path here. Oh, look at that map once more. Okay, let's try the crawl path. Needs food, so they knew this works. There we go. Keep on crawling through. Now you can do something like this if you want to make sure you don't lose health, but it makes a lot of noise. I don't think it's worth doing. No. Oh, look at the map. Alright, so I'm in a larger room. Got a little waterfall here. Someone dead here.
Got some bug juice. Now this is the right way to go. Which means this is not where we want to be. Here we are. The torch. You can wave it around with the circle and repeatedly swing with that. Okay. Alright, I no longer need a cigar on my bar. I'm also gonna take off the crocodile cap and put on the bug juice. Won't need the TNT. Alright, where was the torch at? There it is. The torch has a fairly interesting use uh, in one of the fights, actually. There we are. Alright, now with the torch, it is now very easy to see. However, if you walk into water, how does it put out? Okay, I'm, I'm wrong. I thought it got put out in there. Never mind. All right, there's a little side path here. And down there is where we got those items earlier. We go up here. Ah. I can light and unlight with that button. Now, there are bats in here. If you want to kill the bats very easily. I actually realized I unequipped it. I believe stun grenade. Because they have very sensitive hearing. Yep. We just... And now you can eat bats for days. What's the button to wave this around? That. There I'm in C med. Get off of me. Alright, anyways. Crawl on into here. Map. Welcome. There's a big hole here. Let's watch out for that. And here's the night vision goggles. Okay. Now, I don't really need the torch anymore. If we want to see in the dark, we can simply put on the NVGs. They are quite useful. Also, what are those boys up there? And you can drop down there for the rations. But I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to backtrack. As you can see, it's not that dark anymore, though, because my eyes have been adjusting. I can see quite well. Sadly, all the bats that I got uh, are now dead. I should probably loot this, because I think this gives a medicine. No. No medicine. Well, maybe I could eat it. 
Let's see. Do I have any food to eat? Oh, give me a little bit. Oh, you didn't count. I'm gonna puke. There. All right. Now we've got night vision, as you can see. Very potent, very powerful. We can easily see. No way we're getting lost now. A look at our map here. It's the final path that we didn't see earlier because it was too dark. Ah, some bullets and a grenade. There's also a snake there, which is... My guess is that it, it's a real coral snake. Or is it a milk snake? Let's find out. Let's eat a... I haven't eaten the rabbit yet. Hey, this works. Okay, let's see. It's a Taiwanese cobra. Oh, that's different. All right. Well, now we can make our way through the cave. I have to do this little long crawly section again. But now we can do it with night vision on. Hello, frog. Yeah, this is like terrifying for me. I would never want to crawl through a cave in the darkness. Especially not one with water in it. That is one of my big fears. I don't like cave diving, and I certainly don't like underwater cave diving. Absolutely terrifying to me. Now, welcome to more caves. Let's have a look at our map. Alright, we've got a little side passage here. And we get the M37 shotgun. Now that is a useful weapon. I'm not sure how much ammo I have for it. But I mean, it's quite powerful. It's a shotgun. Shoot someone with that. I have a hard time surviving. And the snow uniform. We have the mask. Now we have the uniform. We'll be very hard to see in a snowy area. Now, what else was mentioned? Bees. We had to deal with hornets before. They did not like white, and they love the color black. It's, uh... It's a thing with Hornet's eyes. And this snow clothing is white. Means we can use it. Now let's have a look at the map. Alright. So let's go this way then because there could be things I've missed. Like these bullets I'm kicking the snake. Anything back here I missed. This was the path I took, right? Yeah. 
then just follow the edge here. Nope. Okay. Alright, before I enter that room, this is another boss battle. I'm going to equip the snow. And I'm going to equip the snow. Backpack. Uh, things that I won't need for this fight. Night vision, thermal vision. I like that thermal always on. Um, weapons. A shotgun could be a use. Not gonna need the AK. Uh, the smoke might be useful as well. Now, uh, I need to take a quick, short BRB, so I'm going to pause the recording as I go to the bathroom. Be right back. Okay, we are back. Anything to say, Zero? The cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. Find a way out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. All right. Paramedic? I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese cobra. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. It's quite vicious and carries a potent neurotoxin in its fangs. Be careful. If it bites you, go into the survival yes, viewer yes, immediately I know, I know. and use the cure option to inject yourself with serum. Sounds interesting. Don't ask me. Huh? The guide doesn't say. If you absolutely have to know, then you'll just have to try it yourself and see. I didn't say anything. But you were going to ask, weren't you? About the taste? Maybe. I'll talk to you later, soon. <laughs> uh, you know what? I want to talk to Sigint. I want to ask him about... Let me equip some things. I will equip the... You know what? The fake death pill. Why not the shotgun? Ah, I see you got yourself an M37. The M37 is a 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Don't expect any kind of accuracy from a distance, but one blast will send the enemy flying, and it's got some serious firepower, too. Good thing to have with you in close range combat. It takes a while to reload, though, so plan accordingly. The thing that really distinguishes the M37 is that it's lightweight. It's about two pounds lighter than other shotguns, 